Hi, I'm Ken Roberts with Ventura County Fire Department. I'm here at Lake Piru today to talk to you about our controlled burn using the thermogel. We had three large structures here that we burned in sequence. We went ahead and used the thermogel to treat two of them to see how it would slow down the fire spread and the growth. We had extremely good results on the one garage that we burned. We had two structures that were really close together. They were both used as garages. We went ahead and treated one side wall with the thermogel, and then we put a fire load in the other untreated garage, lit off the fire, allowed it to build and develop, used minimal water just to keep an exposed roof line from burning, let that garage fire continue to build and push up and lap against the exposed garage that we thermogelled. You'll see through the video that the thermogel held up extremely well. I think there was something like 10 minutes of elapsed time before the thermal gel even started to break down. So we're real pleased with the uh, material. We think it did an incredible job with retarding the fire spread and it would be a great benefit for use in the wildland theater. Okay, what we're seeing now is Firefighter 51 is uh, applying the thermal gel to our exposure structure. He's on the minimal setting, um, applying to, uh, gel to the eaves and to the west facing exposure. This is also a downwind ex exposure. We had a wind out of the west out of about five to seven miles per hour. As you can see, this structure is very close. The eaves actually touch. Uh, the side walls are literally uh, two and a half to three feet apart. Okay, we're beginning the ignition in our fire building. Um, it's basically a gutted garage. We have uh, heavy class eight fuels into the rear of the structure. 12 minutes into it, and you can see we have active fire through the roof. Um, we have a, uh, uh, an open man door, as you can see on the fire building itself, uh, that was left open, and which is uh, creating a direct exposure to our downwind structure. The only water that was applied uh, to our exposure structure was to the roof, because we did not uh, apply any product to the roof, just to the walls. Get a little bit of uh, heat, um, a little bit of smoke underneath the eaves there, but no ignition. 20 minutes into the structure, we have a fully involved um, contents fire and structural fire of our uh, fire building with still no fire activity on our exposure building. We're starting to see some off gassing and some heating of our exposure building. Um, temperatures we were getting in our fire building were around 1600 degrees. Um, on the walls of the exposure were anywhere between uh, uh, 600 and 800 degrees. On the interior of that wall, we were getting ratings of 78 degrees still. No active fire uh, even at this point. Okay, 24 minutes into the structure, we're finally getting some fire on our exposure building. This is corner trim work um, that is uh, burning. Um, this was the, the first place we started seeing any fire. Pretty soon here, you're going to see that fire is now out on its own. Uh, what happened is the fire vented through the roof, it's free burning and most of the heat is rising, taking a lot of the exposure heat out of our uh, exposure uh, structure here. So again, even with that heat for that length of time on the gelled uh, wall of the structure in the eaves, the fire went out on its own. Okay, nearly 40 minutes into the structure, we have one wall remaining on our fire building and we do have some active fire on the exterior of our downwind exposure building. Um, as you can see, it's a minimal amount of fire. A lot of the heat is gone. It's completely gone now with the collapse of our walls. A fire engine with minimal amount of water left in this tank can come in and save that remaining structure. 41 minutes, all four walls down. That building, even though the roof is well involved and the fire is in the attic where no gel had been applied, we can still come in and salvage the structure.